Good morning, everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, coming to you from uh, Illinois, standing underneath the uh, Piazza bird. P Piazza? Whatever, Sean. Don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it whatever I want to call it. <laughs> Guys, I've been waiting for a good sunny day to take the new RV out camping, and um, it is just not going to work. This is not the right time of year to expect good weather in Illinois. So we'll take less rain. There's about a half inch of rain expected today. Thanks for joining me guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet here at the end of the video. Link below if you need some. We got we got Frida and Black Betty in the trailer over there. Really, really windy all of a sudden, of course. And the uh, Mississippi River on the other side there. I guess this will be a really good test on the uh, new roof that Robert and I put on. And of course, Black Betty's safe in there, completely enclosed, so that's good. Kitty's first official camping trip. Would you quit licking the spoon I just fed you from? You little monster, how you doing, Opie? Fearless, man, you ready to go camping? We're gonna camp in the rain. I know. Where's Tara? Is she hiding? There's Tara. Hi, honey. It's okay, we're gonna drive a little bit farther. Yeah, will you tell your sister to stop freaking out? It's okay. She doesn't like change. Can't check in for another 30 minutes, so, um, did I even show you guys that I, I did remount the TV over here? I've got some bare wood that I need to cover up eventually one day, but the TV swivels, and, um, I, I, I moved it. I moved it because I didn't want to have to bulk up all this stuff and I wanted to free this up for a coffee maker and stuff. But uh, I have a helpful tip for you guys. This refrigerator, I, I wasn't sure if this, you know, quote, new refurbished refri refrigerator was actually working correctly. I've got it set on auto right now, which means we're actually running it on gas right now. Um, I was frustrated and uh, I talked to a couple people about the temperature in here. Well, I'm gonna open this up right now, and uh, I, I will tell you already, I went to Amazon and bought a new thermometer. Uh, two of them, actually. Get a load of this, guys. So, the thermometer that came with it says we're at 50 degrees. The one I just bought says 35, 36. Yeah, I actually have a bad thermometer. I don't have a bad fridge. My refrigerator works perfectly. <laughs> Don't trust these old thermometers, guys. Spend four or five bucks, get a new thermometer first. Maybe everything's okay, you know? Same thing up with the freezer. I'm gonna keep one in here. That says about five degrees. Excellent, so it works fine. I was only slightly panicked at first thinking, uh-oh, are we even gonna be able to find a new fridge if I need one or be able to find parts to fix this one? No, it works fine. It was a $5 thermometer issue. <laughs> Opa, you're getting so big. You are just a monster big boy. What a good boy. We'll get on the road here in just a moment, guys. Wanted to show you up front how I've got everything arranged. I got another magnetic mount for my phone, which I use for directions. There's where my dash cam's at with a GoPro sticky. It could come off. And then there's the selfie one, which you saw in a previous video, and uh, you'll see in a moment here as well. Suction cup to the window on me. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, head north. GoPro fails once again here, guys. A lot of red lights there on, there on the screen there. The SD card, it says, is gone. Um, there is an SD card in there, and there's also a lot of footage on that, so it's all gone. Once again, GoPro lets me down. Darn it. You know, I have had nothing, nothing but problems from Go GoPro lately. Uh, I'm filming this on my Sony mirrorless camera, so that is... Essentially, that will have been all you've seen. Well, there's a lot of missing video from this. The whole drive, the whole backing up. Um, I don't know what to do about GoPro. Um, darn it, I just lost a bunch of footage for no reason. Anyways, so I'm here at Pier Marquette Campground. The rain has let up. And as you can see, I didn't disconnect the trailer. These sites are pretty big, so I, I just backed up. Uh, I've been doing this for, since I was probably 13, 14, been backing up a boat into the lake. 
Um, this one's a little different. The rear view camera is, is reversed, so it's not like looking in your rear view mirror. The image is reversed, so the left is the real left, not the fake left, you know what I mean? But anyway, got her straightened here on the very first try. Got some awesome video of that that is now gone, vanished. I even took the SD card out of the camera, put it into my MacBook already, and it says this cannot be read, it needs to be formatted. Kind of frustrating. GoPro has done this to me so many times, and yet I still use them as my main dash cam and selfie, and it just ruined my whole video. I'm being a little dramatic here, but I, I had some good stuff. Well, Pure Marquette uh, uh, does not have full hookups here. It is just electrical and only 30 amp over there. So there's no water or sewer here at our sites. But on the way in or the way out, they have about four bays where you can get that done. And when I leave here, I'm gonna be emptying my black and gray tanks for the first time, as well as emptying all the uh, bleach water out of my freshwater tank, getting ready to sanitize that on the way out, Opie. He's such a curious little monster, but you, don't be stepping on the lock and unlock. I still need to put those little plastic guards on there that I put on Vanna White, you know? Oh, chase some birds, Dad. I really do. Oh, he's so cute. You know what time it is, though. So, you can see I did put Harley Davidson decals back on this trailer, just like I had on the last one. And also, okay, so it was pretty easy this time. Uh, if I'd had the car with me, I would have had to disconnect the car, move the RV all the way back, then park the car in front here, and then I could leave. Uh, be but because it's a little moist, I'm not going to be using the motorcycle. So, um, but in the future, there is going to be a time here where I'm going to have to disconnect that trailer. And I'm going to have to park it in either a different part of the campground, or I'm going to have to park it up front kind of parallel to where my RV is at. There's, I know it's gonna happen. In fact, I'm gonna force myself to do it before I leave Illinois to make sure it's practical. When that time comes, I will show you how I'm gonna be moving this, how much does this weigh? With the motorcycle and the generator and everything, we're looking at about between 2,300 and possibly 2,400 pounds. And a good 300 here right on, right on the tongue right there. So, believe me, before we leave on this next epic trip, I will test that out and, and of course, make sure I can do it. Yeah, and you'll see what tools I'm going to use. That's a future video for right now. I just needed to get away because we've been doing all these projects and I've been in good contact with Wayne. Hopefully, by the time you see this video, I have an update on that or he's, he's here even, hopefully, because... Like I said, we only got two more jobs to do and what, the big one is solar. I, I can't... I can't do it. I need Wayne. I need him. So, just going to be uh, seeing how the kitties adapt to the new RV. Probably figure out what I forgot and everything. You know, because it's just a, just, just a one night here. Yeah. Also, I have one bar of service here that seems to work. It opened up, it opened up Instagram. Fine. But with the booster that I'm going to install later, I, it may change that. I just wanted to get a feel for this campground. Um, even with the weather, this place completely full and in fact somebody has already booked my site for tomorrow even if I wanted to extend it one more day I don't though I don't want to leave in the rain it's gonna be raining <sighs> fresh air camping finally camping kind of uh oh somebody's in somebody else's campsite and there's no camp host uh oh I put the uh the front shade on previous owner in included this I wouldn't normally do it for just one night, and I certainly wouldn't do it when I'm boondocking, but it does make it so that it just kind of gives a little bit more privacy inside the RV instead of putting a curtain across. We have some sunshine, and um, one of the things I forgot to do when I bought this RV is test out the awning. Uh, I've worked one of these manual ones before. Let's give her a try. Uh, previous owners did not have the long awning puller that you grab. So I did go to Amazon and I bought a retractable one and I was all excited. I opened it up at Modified Auto today, started pulling this out and this tip came off right there. It just, I'm holding the tip. I'm like, well, what's the point? <laughs> so I got some super glue at Dollar General, super glued it back in. And now we have a telescoping pole. Let me see if I remember how to do this.
it's in pretty good shape. I love it. It won't break. It can't break. There's no motor. It's all manual. Um, what is this strange blinding light here in Illinois? What? The? I think. I think. Yeah, I think Black Betty wants us to go for a little ride here. I think. Is that what she said? That's what she said. That's what. That's what she said. By the way, uh, I do have a few more mods to make on Black Betty before I leave. Some exciting things that are gonna not even make this look anything like a soft tail slim. One is the new seat, which I'm testing out for the first time right now. cow this seat is so comfortable it did push me forward a little bit more but um i'm okay with that i'm okay with that so uh i'll give you a hint uh the next mod this is all gonna look different everything in front of me is going to look different next week hopefully if it fits Pretty cool. My little private little boondocking spot. Yeah, I like it. All right. Oh my gosh, I love this bike. <laughs> oh. What is it about riding that just feels so good? Gosh, I'm just in a much better mood now. Thank goodness the ground dried really quick too. So, see the new seat. Yeah. Well, I uh, couldn't get the saddleman that I wanted, the step-up saddleman. So this is the <laughs> the only one that was in stock right now is the Danny Gray Weekday XL 2-Up. Okay, so you, you could have a passenger if I didn't have the uh, bags there. But it's a really comfortable seat, actually. And this back support, I, before I had, you know, with my stock seat, if I was if I was hammering on that throttle, I would slide right off the seat. So this is a nice lower back support here on the seat. I'll be trying this out. You'll also notice I didn't bring the windshield with me. I left that behind in the trailer. But I also almost instantly regretted that decision once I hit 60 miles an hour because that wind was powerful. It was it was ripping on my helmet, in fact, as well. Um, so yeah, but I had to remove the windshield to do some measurements for my next modification. I'm not going full bagger, guys. I don't think you can really do that with a soft tail slim, but uh, this bike is, is gonna be a lot, lot different, hopefully, soon. Let's walk down to the beach. Is it not just amazing what a little bit of sunshine can do and change? That's just a little day use area here on the mighty Mississippi. Big ol' mess, a whole lot of Mississippians flowing on down south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss my Great River Road tour. You guys remember that? We went all the way from North Dakota down to New Orleans, following the Mississippi River. Boy, I got some low views on that trip. That's why I don't do theme trips anymore. They are always my lowest viewed videos. And I put the most effort into them, and I have the most fun as a person, yet I won't do them because I get low views. I, Eric, it, okay. All right. Did I mention today that I love my motorcycle? No regrets. Even if it rains nine days out of 10, that 10th day that I get to hop on my hog, man, feeling good. Yeah. Hey, I'm just sitting here 
editing some video and wanted to check in on those kitties. What do you think, Tara? Doing pretty good. Opie, you stole my other seat? Yeah, good kitties. Good camping kitties doing okay. All right, Tara, you're a good girl. She's a good girl, yeah. He's a good boy who steals seats. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to edit for a little bit, probably till the sun goes down, and then me and the kitties might watch some Netflix out here. Or Hulu, or something. So I'm sitting here uh, editing some video at the dinette. And remember, I don't have a dinette in Miranda. I just have a little desk and one little chair. And um, right next to me here, see this? Oh, Tara is loving the extra attention glued to my side here at the dinette. I can honestly say this is about the most affectionate I have ever seen Tara be. And it's all because she can literally lay next to me while I'm working. It really melts my heart. Like, her and I are having a really special moment tonight. I think she's truly happy. She, She's happy to be here in this new RV. She loves the dinette. And she just wants to be next to me. I mean, I hope he's over there chilling. He's like, man, dad'll wake me up when it's time to eat. <laughs> but Tara, oh my goodness, I love you, Tara. Might need to keep the dinette just for her. I've literally never seen her this lovey-dovey before. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> love you, Tara. I love you. And now I got Opie. Gonna watch some Hulu. <laughs> I just don't get any alone time anymore. And I love it. You're such a good boy, Opie. Tara, that was fun. Thank you, Tara. Anyways, guys. I'm gonna hang out with the kitties. Catch you in the morning. Night, guys. You guys are busted. Busted. Yep. Just ridiculous. What am I going to do with you two? You guys. <laughs> hmm. All right. Yep, good morning everyone. One thing is sure clear, Tara loves this RV. But more specifically, Tara, seeing her come out of her shell and enjoy the dinette, th this is gonna sound crazy, but I learned something yesterday, last night, and that is that uh, Tara is picky. She's the, she's, she's the queen. Therefore, um, I have made a big decision here at Pier Marquette Campground. I will not be removing the dinette booth here from this RV. Uh, I think she needs it. I think she wants it. And she clearly enjoys being next to me while I'm working and editing. So, yeah, you, you just heard that right. I am not going to be removing the dinette of one of my RVs. Yeah. And that's because of you, Tara. Because you're such a happy girl with it. Hey, Opie. <laughs> Don't forget about the Opie Dopes. But yeah, Tara, we're going to leave the dinette for you, okay? <laughs> Opie, you're turning into a tucker. You just have to get right in the way. <laughs> what? Is there a camera on? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Guys, I've got about an hour to pack up and leave. And then when we get back to the shop, it's going to rain tomorrow. So we will be doing some more projects here on Frida. So that's cool. And uh, hopefully get in touch with uh, Wayne here. we got to put solar on her. You gotta. You guys be well from Opie and Tara, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.